that he must still be in hospital then? Yeah, I think he'd be in hospital well longer yet. Must have been some kind of tumble. Who says it was a tumble? Well, what was it then? Well, let's just say you don't end up looking like Eddie by falling down a few stairs. A mine shaft, maybe. <laughs> Oh, great. Morning. Check you after. Work. You're not sorted him out of anything yet, then? As he ill. Morphers like me, eh? <laughs> Come on, have you put down? Look, if he's got sickle cell, he's got sickle cell. It's not the end of the world. He's not being boring. Well, one of us is going to have to pin him down on it, and I'm not talking to him, so it'll have to be you. It's my pleasure, Kev. I'm not letting him get away with this one. Mind you, you've got to back me, though. I'll back you, don't worry. At least tell you that boy, though, as I tell you. Do you, this little devil? What stroke that little light pulling now? I don't know. It's about to stink, whatever it is. Here, St. Pete. Oh, I should leave him to it. Hey? They're deep in private discussion. What about? It's top secret. Probably so secret they don't even know themselves. <laughs> Do you want a drink? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I know, but if you ask me, the Mitchells have been out of order ever since they set foot in this square. Here, yeah. But they did help out with that market business that's going on. Oh, at the start, they did. By the end of it, they had no choice for him to run in that high. But what's he got to do with Phil? He wasn't even there, was he? No, 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 I didn't mention it. It's just that, look, if he teams up with his brother, it could get a bit dangerous. Arthur, look, do you want to back out of this? No, of course not. If it comes to it, I'll be there. I just think... Look, Arthur, we... look, have you been to see him? No. Do your sort of favour, go and see him, then come back and tell me that we shouldn't do anything. I told you, Frank, I don't know where he is. Well, that's strange, because I thought you and him had a thing going. Not anymore. Well, you're just telling me that I'm looking for him. What's Grant done to you? All to me, nothing. To Eddie. That's another matter. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you think I mean? I don't know, Frank. I wouldn't be asking if I did. Sharon, you don't fool me one job. You know exactly what occurred between Eddie and Grant Mitchell, and I know you know. <laughs> you just make sure lover boy knows it too. All right? He's dead on it. No, no, I'll get rid of them. No, no. Oh, Jack, leave it to me. I'll get rid of them for you. Uh... She claims she doesn't know where he is. Well, she probably doesn't, then. Yeah, I think I know what that mother's meeting's all about. What? Grant Mitchell. What about Grant Mitchell? Sharon knows. Don't you, Sharon, about Grant? Look, Pat, this is none of my business. Eddie told Frank it was a fight put him in hospital, not slipping down some stairs. Well? The official version, according to Eddie, is that he slipped by. Perhaps he don't want it public knowledge. He knows. Oi, Michelle. Yeah. What, Eddie had a fight with Grant Mitchell? Yeah. Well, more fool him. It's twice Grant's age. Oh, what are they fight about? I don't know. Yeah, so what do the three stooges get themselves head up about? They want to sort Grant out for some reason. What's it got to do with him? That's what I said. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. So that three, they couldn't sort Sooty out, let alone Grant Mitchell. Surely, if Eddie's had a fight and lost, it's down to Eddie, nobody else. Eddie's in a right old state, though, Paul. I tell you, I mean, Grant must have really laid into him. I don't care. I'm going to put a stop to this, because unless something's done, Eddie won't be the only one in hospital. Here, hang on a second, well, Pauline. Well, if you have a go at them in here, in front of everybody else, they'll only come on all lippy. We'll tackle them one at a time. You sort out your old man, I'll sort out mine. Kath can tackle Pete. Pete ain't my responsibility. Ask Pauline nicely. She might help. Now, what we mustn't do is to rush into this. We need a plan of campaign. Right, the moment he comes in, I bust him. No, 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 Pete, that's exactly what I'm saying we shouldn't do. Of course not. We've got to reason with him first. Reason with him? We're past the reasoning stage. We're not talking reasoning here, Arthur. What I'm trying to say is that no one should ever go at him on their own. The minute any one of us spots him, you've got to let the other two know. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, the man is an animal. A concerted effort. That's what's needed. Gentlemen, all for one. And one for all. Yeah. Arthur's had a change of heart. Oh, typical. And I think you'll find Frank feels the same. Come on, Pete, try and think of them. I mean, if God did that to Eddie, imagine what he could do to those two. I mean, I know you could hold your own, I know that, but well, the other two, it wouldn't be right, would it, Paul? No, I mean, just think on that. Makes a lot of sense. Well, if the others, I think, are dropping out. Hey, old Sharon. Oh. Right, Jackie? Well, I'd On the uh... house. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Uh, Potman's wages, Jackie. Oh, thanks. 
Oh, Ian. Oh. You all right, Dad? Jackie, can I buy you a drink? Well, I've already got one from the landlady. Um, Thank I'll you. tell you what, Sharon, can you put one in the pipe for him and make one of scotch oh, loads of ice, please? Right. Have no fear, John is here. How are you doing, me little darling? Are you managing all right, are you? Hello, John. Well, I've just been to see the invalid and told him not to worry. Now that I've arrived, everything's going to be all right. So, I'll just take this upstairs and then you can fill me in on what's been happening. OK. You had a word with him yet? I'll try it. It looks like he's sorted out, Jackie, so that's the start. What do you say? What did Ian have to say? He bought me a pint. Yeah, but what did he talk about? Oh, this and that, if I knew his grand. Of course I knew his grand. Who didn't know Lou Beale? Well, nothing else? No, not really. Uh, he's dead, aren't they? Or this one? I thought there was more there. Yeah. Well, that's it then, isn't it? He's not going to sold it. So, left to make him. How? How? I think there's something. 